The Bloodlands build I'm working on looks amazing, is super fun to play, and is climbing toward Nightmare 100, but there is one major roadblock preventing further progress. It literally breaks the game. Depending on the severity of the situation, you can experience mild stutters, freezing for a few seconds to half an hour, disembodied camera, movement and so on, all the way to blue screening your PC. Bloodlance lingers in enemies for 3 seconds, and every time you hit an enemy with Bloodlance, any enemy with this debuff is also hit. Enhanced Bloodlance makes it pierce through enemies that are already debuffed, helping us spread it further. And what brings it all together is the aspect of Hungry Blood that can fire off additional Blood Lances when they hit targets that are debuffed. Knowing this, with enough attack speed and essence, we can group packs up, spread the debuff, and every proc of the aspect also hits everyone debuffed. This leads to an incredible cascade of damage. Most of the time, this is okay. Despite the huge number of calculations happening, so long as the enemies will die after a few cascades, it works just fine. The problems arise when enemies have much higher health, like in very high nightmare dungeons, or when there are these purple shielding mobs in a pack, or both. I don't know exactly what's going on behind the scenes, but it seems like this damage reduction aura is adding another layer of calculations, and if this enemy is in a high health pack or with elites, I am basically guaranteed to freeze for a few minutes, or if the enemies have very high health as well, I'll freeze forever or even blue screen. When you enter this freezed state, you can still move around freely and path through normally locked doors and any other barriers until you reach certain sections of the map that haven't loaded in yet. Funnily enough, this lag isn't just happening to me. Anyone in my instance is also affected. Everyone in the same dungeon lags for the exact same duration as I do, and more scarily, anyone in the same subzone of the world will also share the lag. World lag so far has been less dramatic, the spikes are much shorter and resolve quickly. It seems like the open world has a much higher budget for processing all of these calculations. That being said, I suspect if I had far less damage and was in a busy zone like a Helltide, the results would be devastating for everyone so this is something Blizzard needs to address soon. This puts me in an odd position. This type of build feels like the natural progression of Blood Necromancer into the top tiers of Nightmare Dungeons. Bloodlance only works with high attack speed, great essence economy, and on enemies with high health. If you do easy content with this build, it feels terrible. For every enemy that dies early, it's one less enemy to generate cascades of damage. Yet, in the harder content this ability is apparently designed to do, it simply cannot function. I've been experimenting with a number of builds, which has led me to having a severe lack of aspects and suboptimal gear. Despite this, I've been able to push up to around Nightmare 80, with a lot of character power missing. And it's quite frustrating that my ceiling with this build is a technical limitation, and a very annoying one at that. A dungeon that should take 10 minutes may take an hour with a few extended lag events which isn't sustainable or enjoyable. Considering the danger this build poses to the wider world and player experience, there's a chance Blizzard may fix it, but I fear they may just nerf it into oblivion or totally change how it works. I would like to make an in-depth guide on how to play this build, but I'll likely need to wait for it to function more consistently for it to feel worthwhile. For the meantime, if it's something you want to explore yourself, you can still clear some high content up until the enemies become too healthy. Essentially, it all revolves around amassing attack speed, essence cost reduction, lucky hit chance to generate essence if you have some lucky hit and a wand, using Bloodlance with the overpower upgrade, stacking overpower damage and life, and grouping enemies with corpse tendrils and then spamming Bloodlance through them in the best line you can see. Thanks so much for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.